Hello everyone and welcome to my darling's distractions episode 13. Let's be 13. <laughs> yes, there's probably a baker's dozen joke or something. Like that. Sure. This is the one that the baker eats. <laughs> uh, my name is Luke and I am joined as always by my lovely wife Deb. Hi. Hi Deb. Hi. Well, thanks for joining me. Yeah, this is what I do. So, uh, yeah, this is My Darling's Distractions, where we take a little bit of time to talk about something that our darling is interested in, or kind of just something that distracts them, mm-hmm. and then sometimes yeah. we like take a like test or quiz them on it and see if they really see if they really love that thing. We we normally do that. We normally do that. Yeah. So right off the bat, this is a very special episode. Yeah. This is a special episode because this is our first uh, listener voicemail episode. (laughs) (laughs) That's the theme music. Every time we'll do that. (laughs) Uh, No, this is a, we had put out a request a a few episodes back or a little while ago. Said, hey, if you want to get a hold of us, you can leave us a voicemail at the My Darlings Distractions voicemail line. So this is very special because we got a voicemail from a very special listener. This was a, we got a voicemail from listener Liz. Yay! Liz, who's been on our show and is Deb's identical twin sister. She pushed her way to the front of the line. Um, so yeah, let's listen to Liz's voicemail. Hey guys, it's Liz. Um, I really like your podcast and I think it's fun when you play Name That Tune. I think it would be fun to do like a TV theme song guest that tv show something like that keep up the good work i'll be in touch bye-bye hey thanks for calling in liz yeah thanks for calling in liz (laughs) so yeah much like the genie and aladdin your wish is our command (laughs) yeah that was fun liz i also like when we do uh name that tune type shows Mm -hmm. so in honor of liz's request we are going to do a name that quiz show but today's topic is going to be television show intros So we kind of talked about how we wanted to do this, and we went back and forth on it, and I think what we landed on is we each picked out, so I did. we did a little bit different, let me maybe explain. So what I did was I picked out my seven favorite TV shows, and I got their intros, and if possible I took, if there were any words in the intros, I tried to take them out of it. So I have picked my seven favorite TV shows and gotten their intros, and so I'm going to see if Deb can guess my seven favorite TV shows based on their intro. Yeah, and you kind of ranked them as like um, number seven for you was like your least favorite. Number one would have been like your most sure. favorite. Yeah, well, yeah, seven to one in, of all of my favorite TV shows. I started off by making a list of like just all the TV shows <laughs> that I can remember watching. Oh, like, wow. Um, like even in childhood. Whoa. <laughs> Like, just because I really enjoyed many of them. And so, like, I just wrote, I wrote down all the ones that I can kind of remember watching. And then okay. as, like, ones that I watched as an adult, um, they started to become ones that I had actually seen the whole season mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, so then I had to go back through and pick ones... Oh, I tried to narrow it down to a top seven, mm-hmm. but they're in no particular order. In no particular order. Yeah. I will say with my list too, Deb, you reminded me. So I will say with my list, these are ones that I have seen. I've seen, I've seen a lot of the episodes of, cause that was uh-huh. one, there are shows that I really like, but it kind of maybe for me tells me something if I'm not willing like to watch them all the way through, maybe they're not that important to me. Yeah. So I've seen a lot of these episodes on mine. Yeah, me too. And Oh, well, I won't say anymore because I don't want it to give <laughs> it, it away. away. Yeah, and for for me, I would say like probably any one of these on my list could be its whole whole own episode. Yeah, but we're gonna be kind of quick and just kind of going through, and yeah, we're gonna quiz each other mm-hmm. and see if we compete. So we are going to be quizzing each other in a segment I'm calling "Quiz Me, Baby." <laughs> So I think we decided we're going to alternate. Yeah. 
So do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Uh, I'll go first, I guess. All right. Yeah. Um, so this first one, we'll go ahead and play the intro for you. All right. Go for it. Pretty good idea, and I'm I'm gonna <laughs> try to be very specific. Deb, okay, yeah. Is this is number seven for you? Is mm-hmm. this the television? No, this is just number one. Okay, this is number one for you. It's yeah, gonna get confusing because I'm gonna start with my number seven. I know <laughs> we, we did a little different. This is just this just happens to be number one. All right. But actually, this this one probably has the most purpose of out of any of them. I put it first because it was the easiest. Yeah, it's easiest. All right, mm-hmm. so Deb, I'm guessing. Yeah. This is the television show Survivor from CBS, and this is the Australian Outback season. Yeah, season two. Yeah, I heard the, I heard the didgeridoo right at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and the crocodile. And the crocodile chomp. chomp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, did I? So I got it right. Yes, you right. got it right. right. This one I one have out of one. seen most seasons of this this show, and we just talked about this, so yeah. I knew you would get it right away. Okay. Deb, are you ready for my from... turn? Yep, this is my number seven. Okay, meaning least favorite of the top seven. Yeah, yeah, it's hard. I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm balking whenever you say least favorite because it still is like my seventh favorite show. Sure, sure. So, and, and yeah, anyway, well, so this is my number seven. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Okay. I've heard it a bunch. Uh, is it Futurama? That is correct. Yes. yes. Number seven is Futurama, Deb. Good job. Thanks. All right. I'm ready for yours. I'm glad you started with that one. Oh, good. So some of mine might get tricky, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not guaranteeing that you're going to get all mine. I don't know. No, I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get all yours either. Do you think I'm going to get all yours? Um, You might get all of mine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here comes the next one. Okay, I'm ready. Also, the CBS television show, yeah, Big Brother. You got it. What's with me and CBS? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So I will say, yeah, that is like one of your luxury things. Is you do have CBS All Access, so you have all I of do. CBS's back catalog, which is yeah, Survivor, Big Brother. I do, and a lot of that stuff. So. Yeah, that it, that feels truly luxurious to me. Like mm-hmm. it's really not necessary. It's like six bucks a month. I know, it's but crazy. it's like one of those things that. I I find it hard to justify because they're not <laughs> yeah. coming out with like new release movies. No, yeah, you know, and it's not like Hulu where it's a whole mm-hmm. bunch of different like any channel, right? But plus you, movies, but you do get to see like during Big Brother, you get to see live feeds. That's that's, per, sure. that's you, a pretty that's big true. deal. You get live feeds and um, and some Big Brother you can only watch right. They have online only seasons, right? Yes, so, they do. I mean, Celebrity Big Brother online. Yeah, yeah. So it's not so bad. I I wasn't sure what to think about that show for. Like a long time, I didn't watch it in the beginning because it just seems wrong. Like you're, just oh, like, the whole fly on the wall thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. A but um, skeezy. I yeah. yeah, a little. So I don't remember why or how I watched it for the first time, but it was definitely like as as an adult after college. Oh yeah, and I was like, well, this is fun. It's just competitions. Yeah, it's like Survivor, but in a house. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I'll say I I like I'm I'm okay with the show. I'm not a fan of the drama. Oh yeah, a lot of drama. Yeah. There is, so, you're right. There's more drama for sure. Yeah. 
All right. Debbie, okay. you ready for my number six? Ready. So I'm two for two. You're one for one. Let's see how you can do with number six. All right. You Were you trying to be tricky? No, I don't think I'm trying to be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I do have an alternate for number six. Do you want to play the alternate? No. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think you have to. Is it Lost? That is correct, Deb. Yes. yes. The TV show Lost. Here, I'll play my... This is my alternate. You can hear a little okay. bit of it. Now that I'm thinking about it, they don't have much for a theme no. song. It's just like this bong, you know, like yeah. this hard drum or mm-hmm. whatever yeah, where they I... show Lost. Mm-hmm. Right? Or That's is at there, the end of the show. Is there a theme song? That's at the end of the show where they oh, do the, yeah. the, the black background with, with white letters just says Lost. Yeah. So what's their intro like? It is what so what I just played. You would see the Lost logo in 3D, kind of slowly passing in front of the screen. They would usually, I think, start with a cold open right into the episode. Yeah. And sometimes when it started the episode, it would be like starting on an eyeball, like somebody's eye as they're just like waking up or starting in this kind of a yeah, I remember, intense, I remember very that intense now. show. I almost put that one down, but mm. I figured you would. It'll be interesting to see if we have any crossover. Mm-hmm. I w- yeah. yeah, not knowing what the other person put. Yeah. I That's... was pretty sure you would, so I didn't put that yeah. one down. I think we will have some crossover. We'll see. My my TV like tastes are a little bit more unique, and yours are maybe a little bit more... I don't know how you'd... Exp- like, yours definitely sway like maybe towards reality and mine are <laughs> just maybe a little more obscure that's a pretty uh-huh. that's a pretty mainstream one that a lot of people liked lost oh, yeah. all Such right Deb. a good one okay you ready for number three yes i'm ready me. okay So this is hard. I mean, so that piano. So can I ask you a question about yeah. it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is would this normally have lyrics with it? Yes. So you, this is the instrumental only. Yes. Okay. And I'm and it's not the opening sequence. Oh dear. Yeah. Really. So like, the thing is, is that the opening sequence has they like say the name of the show and okay. they talk all the way through it. Oh man. So um. I picked another one that was like recognizable if you watch the show a bunch. Oh boy. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to take a loss. Okay, so this is what I'm going to say. Okay. I'm going to say first, not my guess, but what my initial thought was just listening to the music, I thought, salute your shorts. Okay. Because he's playing the piano. It's Uh kind of got that tune. But now I'm going to say it's. It's campy, kind of. Yes. I'm going to say it is uh, Bug Juice. It's not oh, bug juice either, okay. but it, I can see the vein you're going with. Yeah, it, it just does kind of sound like, like that. somebody playing a camp piano. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, do you want to know what it is? Yes, please. It is whose line is it anyway? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Did you ever watch that show? I did. You know, it's funny. I watched it. We had a uh, history teacher at my school, mm-hmm. and or maybe he was like civics. So anyway, history, social studies type things in high school. That show came out when I was in high school, and it was like the most popular thing in the world. Yeah. And so he started instead of teaching, just showing that show during class. Oh, wow! And because he loved it so much, and yeah. I, and it was just the sort of thing where like he just started showing. I don't know how he was showing it because it wasn't wouldn't have been through the internet. Um, but it Did just, he tape it on the maybe VCR? Maybe he taped it on a VCR. And... Maybe we were literally watching wow. VHSs. But he got let go from the school. Yeah, that's against the rules. Yeah, we ended up just watching Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh, man, I would have never gotten that in See, a See, and years. that show was so funny. But Pretty it's good. funny that you say that it was so popular because I don't remember talking about that mm. show with anybody else besides oh, yeah. my sisters, maybe. Yeah. And um, 
I mean, maybe, but I just don't remember. But we loved that show. But it was never one of those ones that we like knew exactly when it came on mm. and we tuned in. It was just kind of. Is a, it a Comedy Central show or ABC? Maybe it was on ABC. ABC okay. Um, and then it went off the air, and now it's actually back. Oh yeah. And um, there's a different host since oh, Drew Carey is doing Prices Right. Yeah. Um, it's a girl. Yeah. I someone. Yeah, it was a great, great so. show. So funny. Wow. I mean, Wayne Brady mm-hmm. and, uh, I mean, just really yeah. great. All right, I'll take a loss on that one. I'm and only... Ryan Styles. Yeah, I know. Yeah, good. It was a good good group. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm only so, two for three now, and you are two well, for yeah, two. Yeah, two All for right. two. All right, Deb, let's see how you do on the next one. Okay. So, I mean, I guess that's a clue for you that I also, that I did not. Didn't. Okay, good. It's not on my list. Good. (laughs) Um, So, this is Stranger Things. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, yeah, I really enjoyed, we watched that show together. And I think we like, that might have been the only show that we've ever binge watched together. We didn't do it all. I guess it's kind of a partial binge. For a (laughs) partial binge. Right? Because didn't we do like half of it one night and (laughs) half of it? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I or think that's one. still considered binge watching, mm-hmm. even if you have to separate it into two nights, two nights or three yeah. nights. Um, we watched Lost that way together. And oh, then you're right. This one. Yeah. We did Lost by, over Netflix, like getting DVDs for a long time. For a little bit. And then we did the library rental thing oh, for right. a little we bit. Yeah. yeah. But this one, yeah, this was, a, I remember this being a binge watch, like just a couple of nights we burned through it. Yeah. 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 And so it, I just, I, I love. I think I just love when you binge watch something and it's just you're totally focused on that one thing mm-hmm. and you start to hear that you start to hear that intro over and over and over again. It does something to your brain. <laughs> yeah. I think Netflix figured something out with that whole binge watching thing like yeah. Oh yeah. People wanted to do that. People I think people would rather do that. They'd rather wait the whole season. I think mm-hmm. sometimes with different things people actually do that. They don't watch it until they can watch mm-hmm. the whole thing at once. Yeah. Um what a good show and what a good intro too. You, when you hear it, you, mm-hmm. everything comes back to you. It's like playing that, you know, a video game and you hear the mm-hmm. music again. Yeah. Um, great characters. I didn't like the second season as well. Yeah, not as well, but still fun. Still really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you ready for my next one? I am ready. Okay, this is number four. Yeah, so this is confusing because yeah. I'm counting down and you're counting up. Yeah. <laughs> so Deb, you are you are three for three. Yeah, I don't do a very good job at keeping track of my score. That's okay. I'm two for three. You're you're beating me. You're winning. Okay. Okay. try to cheat a little bit okay and ask you a few questions have you ever watched this have you ever watched this show since we've been married yes hmm. good question yeah have i ever seen this show before um over my shoulder probably Maybe. Mm-hmm. oh man um <laughs> this is just a stab in the dark 
is okay. this Freaks and Geeks. No. Oh, okay. That okay. was on my list. It didn't make it didn't to the make top the seven. All right. But uh, no, not Freaks and Geeks. What is it? It is This Is Us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never seen the intro to that. Yeah, probably not. No. And it's not real... Uh, you know, there's no words not or memorable. no, you know, no, yeah, no melody to pick up. Yeah, really, no mm-hmm. melody. So, but when you hear it, mm-hmm. you hear it. So this it's is how, good. This is how I watch. You back. This is how I watch. This is us. Um, you start it, and mm-hmm. I immediately walk away, <laughs> and I'll go do something else, and then I'll come back towards the end, and you'll be crying. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. and then sometimes I'd be like, "Hey, what's going on?" You no, know? I don't want you to talk to me. Just like walk away. <laughs> I know, yeah. I and I because at the point where you're crying, I want to like engage with you, but yeah, you don't you don't want anything to do with you. You're like <laughs> you're still processing whatever's just happened. Well, yeah, and, and it's like hard to explain to someone who hasn't been watching it too. Or They're yeah, like, sometimes I'll oh, just butt okay. in and be like, "Wait, who's he?" <laughs> I know it kind of like kills <laughs> kills the mood. Kills the mood. All right, sorry. All right, we're all learning. Stuff stuff here tonight apparently yeah. i am not good to watch this is us with i just i just don't watch it that's my problem yeah so okay you can't come in three-fourths of the way through three-fourths like yeah having not watched any of the previous seasons yeah. and just like watching like watching the last 10 minutes of one episode being right. like why is she crying well, what's what's her problem why is she in a hospital bed why do her yeah. siblings not look like her it's like i mean <laughs> why do her siblings not I, look I mean like I, her? I know no but like <laughs> Those are the sorts of questions you get when you just walk in on This yeah. Is Us. Okay. Wow. I'm not doing great. I'm only two for four. That's all right. all right. Okay, Deb. I think things are going to get harder for you now. Oh, probably. Or, I don't know. Maybe. No, not, they, not really. They will. To be honest, you, you're probably going to get all these. Uh, this one might be tough, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, Deb. This is my fourth favorite show. So okay. Counting down from seven, my fourth favorite. Okay. Probably not. Okay. Uh, that's Mystery Science Theater. Yes, it is. Mystery Science Theater 3000. 3000. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Deb. Yes. I used to watch that one, too. Yeah. It didn't, probably didn't make your list, though. No. <laughs> no. 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 It's funny, because that was when we would break out mm-hmm. at um, this one particular friend's house when we would go there to spend mm. the night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting, right? I was going to say, I had some on my like laptop back when I just would like download individual episodes. I think we watched a couple together. Mm-hmm. I, I made you watch things on the laptop that I was like, hey, like, hey, this is a show I think is kind of funny. Yeah. Why don't you watch it with me? And like, <laughs> you would you just grin and bear it. So, but I I've actually even liked the Netflix re-release. This is called Mr. Science Theater Three Thousand: The Return. Mm-hmm. Anyway, when they I've liked their new stuff too. I think it's really funny. Yeah. And so yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've, I've liked that one over your shoulder. Mm-hmm. I've liked that one. I've been trying to I tried to get you to watch a couple of them, but they can get a little slow. Like yeah. you're watching a bad movie, so it can uh-huh. get a little slow. You've definitely fallen asleep during a couple of those. Where I'm oh, like, oh, yeah. Deb, watch this with me because it's like, you know, three hours or. No, it's not that long. The only Couple way I feel episode. like I've been able to make through those is make it through those as if I'm like I fall asleep, take a nap, or I'm <laughs> doing something different. Right? At yeah, the time. you can't just watch those. You just fall asleep. No. They put you to sleep. I yeah. love them. They they consistently get a chuckle out of me. So <laughs> good job, Deb. Man, you've got them. I think you're gonna get all of mine. You are you are four for four. We'll see. We'll all right. see. All right, Luke. I need to. I need you to might redeem. get this next one. I need to redeem myself. You might get it. Um, this one I decided to go ahead and use words. Oh, okay. Uh, that I won't complain because I'm probably gonna need it. <laughs> if you're out.
think I know this one. Okay. Is this Gilmore Girls? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. You, you have a Gilmore Girls t-shirt. I do. Yeah. Yes. I, I just got that one because I thought, I can't not have something that says Gilmore Girls yeah. on it. I love that show so much, but I really came to that one late yeah, in did. life. Uh, no, <laughs> late in life. Late to the party is what sure, I should yeah. say. Um, and I think it happened because they just came out with like a re-release of that show. Mm. And I had, I don't know, that, that was maybe two years ago. And I had only watched... Uh, streamed all the seasons like maybe a year and a half before they came out so anyway yeah late to the party on that one but i just really liked it i know it's not for everybody i have friends that love it Mm -hmm. and some that just won't won't touch it but that's all right yeah i'm I'm also seeing kind of a divergent path here and like tv viewing Uh like my last few have been like oh i don't know like like, yeah, I've got, like, Futurama and Mr. Science Theater, and you've got, like, This Is Us yeah. and Gilmore Girls. <laughs> where kind of a divergent path. This is maybe why we don't watch a ton of TV together. We just don't. Our taste in TV. I mean, unless I don't know, we'll Stranger see. We, Things we, we, we might bring it back together. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Of of mine, we've had a couple that we match up here on, so. Maybe they're, like, sci-fi ones that we like. Yeah, maybe. I think another reason why I liked Gilmore Girls so much is that the, um, the mom on that show mm-hmm. really reminded me of another of just a friend of mine oh. and so it was really kind of fun nice. to to watch that it's show like watching your friend yeah okay yeah deb we are all the way down to my third favorite tv show okay Yes, I know this one too. Okay, <laughs> Arrested Development. You are correct, Deb. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah, you're nailing these. I uh, I almost put that one on my list. I too. wondered this was going to be like this would probably have been my crossover with you, probably yeah. right here. We both really enjoyed that show. So good. Mm-hmm. Um, another one of those ones that like we never really knew what time it came on, yeah. or even what channel it was yeah. on. We are exactly what that show had as a problem is yeah. I think people would talk about it, but like nobody was really committed to it. Mm-hmm. And that show has so many running gags where like that joke only really makes sense if you've been watching it and yeah. paying attention. And, and so we would like catch it. And every time we just randomly catch a thing, it was like Sunday evenings at a yeah. random time. Now we know it was yeah. on Sunday evenings. Yeah. But when we would catch it, we're like, oh, what a good show. This is really funny. And then we would just forget about we, it. Yeah. <laughs> and then like every like, and then a couple weeks later, be like, oh, look at that show's on we like. And then yeah. <laughs> I think we really got keyed into it. Um, we have some friends who are really into it. I think that helped. Yeah. But also I think we got the DVDs. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. That's and then one of the it few, came on Netflix. Yeah. That's one of the few TV s- series we have on DVD. Yeah. Do we yeah. still have it? Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, we still got it. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's it's and and I've I've struggled a little bit with the the most recent Netflix re-release. I think like just the original season or series on the TV mm-hmm. is very good, and, mm-hmm. and the Netflix one got me a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's just one of those. It's great. Like we and that's probably one of the shows maybe I quote the most. <laughs> like yeah. and just you know walk up to somebody like, hey brother. Yeah, <laughs> I do that too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, mm. good job, Deb. Steve Holt. Yeah. So in a, in, a, in a county very close to us here, there is a county representative named Steve Holt. Yeah. And whenever I go to work uh, around election time, all over town, there will be Steve Holt signs. It's and awesome. I always say it. <laughs> Steve Holt. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the next one? Oh, I need this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So is this show oh, like it's so good? That part, the part, does that right at the beginning, or is that a little ways into the intro? Oh, I, I, my guess is it's a little ways in, uh, but not too much. I think it's it's pretty close to man. the top. Okay, okay, 
My guess is the TV show Dexter. Oh, that is such a good guess. Oh, it's wrong. Isn't it's it? wrong. Man. It's a really good guess. Okay. It, and when I was listening to it prior to this, I thought this sounds a little bit like Dexter. Okay. Um, and I I did really yeah, like did that really show. Like that show. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know. It's like, I almost am like, should I even admit that? Yeah, it's but creepy. It's cre- Yeah, it's a, it's a very creepy and Weird wrong show, yeah. premise. Um, no, but I was wrong. It's not Dexter. It, all right, give me give me a hint. Give me a hint. Let me let me get there. I kind of just did. I like almost started to say it. Did you see me? No. Okay, a hint. Yeah. Like, um, get, get, get me in the ballpark. Um, Same type of show as Dexter. No. Okay. Let me see. Man, it sounded super familiar. One in eight hundred billion. Boy. <laughs> I am not picking that up at all. No. Um, I mean, that's like one person in the world. One world. One. One. The only person in the world. <laughs> Last man on earth. No. no okay. Good guess, Sorry. Though. I give up. <laughs> I give up, Deb. Okay. Um, it's Sherlock. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that clue doesn't. So I've never seen any Sherlock. I know, and yeah. I think that's so wrong. It's so good. Yeah. And so specifically, this is the BBC yeah. Sherlock uh-huh. with, with uh, Benedict, Benedict and Cumberpatch. Mar- yep. Martin. No, hmm. I couldn't. I couldn't tell you his name. Um, <laughs> Martin Freeman. Sure. Yeah, I that think that's right. what it is. I do like Martin Freeman. Uh, yeah, I think he's very funny and very. He's a good actor. Uh-huh. Also I also like, like both Benedict. Of them. Yeah, they're both very good. Yeah, and so did you get that clue that I gave you? Um. No. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Strange. Oh. On the Avengers. Oh, okay. And he and was that's the his one, number? No. Well, he was the one that said mm-hmm. there's only one in something huge okay. number, but sure. I didn't know what the huge number was. Oh, okay. What did he say? I don't know. Either. You don't know either. I couldn't, yeah. That, so I there's couldn't only one in something chances that this is yeah. going to okay. be okay. Yeah. Okay. Man. All right. I'm oh. giving up on keeping. Oh, score. what a good show. You should watch it. All right. Nope, sorry. Okay, Deb, you're you're gonna run away with this. You are you are gonna end up with a perfect score. I'm nearly positive, <laughs> and I've stopped keeping track of mine. It's, so. I think it's because you don't watch a lot of TV. That's true. Yeah, it, whenever it comes to, I think I've said this before, but whenever it comes to me having free time, mm-hmm. like TV's just not my go-to. There's so many other things I'd rather do than watch TV. Yeah, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Deb, are you ready for my second favorite show? Yes. Bob's Burgers. It is. Was that a crossover for you? No. no. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> but I do. Yeah, I yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. That's one that I will watch with That's you. One it you makes will. me laugh. I know every time. Yeah. Every time I watch it, like I get a chuckle out of something. Mm-hmm. Like they're just like they're so quick. Yeah. Like just and, and their characters are so distinct. Yes. Like, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Tina. Yeah. Oh, it it is a yeah. good one. It's one of the only cartoons that I can like stand to watch. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Is that I, harsh? Yeah. Also, um, uh, oh, what is his name? John. Um, mm-hmm. the voice actor. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm blanking on his name. Uh, he has a van. That was one of his shows. Mm-hmm. He's also Archer. Yeah. He's also on Home Movies. Um, yeah. John, John H. Benjamin. There it oh, is. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I just, I, I love his voice. Mm-hmm. Just like him yelling. Uh, <laughs> and there's like early on, like he has, like he'll have these like little asides with little like inanimate objects where he'll talk to them. <laughs> and he does this kind of like weird kind of baby voice. And he'll, or he'll, he's talking to like little, a little model of Keanu Reeves. And like, oh, it's so funny. Oh, Keanu. Give me long sleeves. Okay. Why? You look great in the tea. I don't know. I just switch it up. Okay. No, no, no. Make me one of those. Tuxedo t-shirts. Do that. It'll be funny. That's stupid. I don't like those. One of the things that gets me is 
T- is it Tina? That's Tina's the older the sister. the oldest daughter. She does this like groan that is just. Uh... <laughs> like that. <laughs> it gets me every time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I think sometimes you'll just like do it. Sometimes like... I'll just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, very, it's great, Joe. No, I didn't put that one on my list, no. but I should have. Okay. Um, Deb, okay, I don't is think this we're gonna... my last one then? Uh, yeah, this I should be your is. this should be your last one, Deb. But we are gonna have no crossover, if you can believe it. We've not found I, a well, single show. Well, no, I kind of did that on purpose. Oh, okay. I did. I picked ones you. that um, I purposely left ones off my list that I thought okay. you might pick. So this is not your favorite show necessarily. It's just your seventh show. Yes. Okay. Um, you know I. Along with trying to not pick the ones that you would pick, I also tried to pick my top seven. Mm. And so it just so happens that, uh-huh. like, you know, it just kind of worked out. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can redeem myself with at least one more right. All right, so Deb, I'm gonna I'm gonna say at least get one more right. Yes, this, this you is, can get this one. This is my so-called life. You got it. Yeah. Yes, I, of course you got it. Yeah, I've definitely heard that a lot because mm-hmm. um, at one point in time this was your ringtone. Yes, and I'm really sad it's not anymore. I we I think we had I, we could probably figure it out, but once upon a time you could do custom ringtones on iPhones by creating these 30 second long M4A files and we did yeah. that and I, I think I don't know maybe the operating system has changed I can't remember what the reasoning was that we well had. I got a new phone and then mm. then it disappeared maybe we could and just find it on the store maybe, maybe. I could just find it yeah, in the ringtone store yeah. Yeah. But, all, those, um, all those my so called life fans yeah, really need maybe that ringtone it, maybe. Yeah, who knows if it's even on oh there. everything there's everything you think so there. oh, yeah, but it, d- it wouldn't be the specific part of the song that's that I true wanted. you like, yeah we had to edit it yeah we had to edit it right where you wanted it to start to make it that 30 yeah, second clip you really wanted I hand picked the yeah. clip S- that show was so significant I remember watching it like sitting right in front of the TV and watching <laughs> it and I don't remember really anybody else there. I'm sure there was somebody there, else mm-hmm. there, but my mom knew I really liked that show too. And she has, she actually owns that show oh, on, on VHS, on DVD, oh, I wow. think. And she says DVD. it's mine when she doesn't want it oh, anymore. <laughs> when's that gonna be? I don't know, but I really <laughs> liked it because it had Claire Danes. That's when I like loved, sure. like fell in love with Claire Danes, mm-hmm. and um, also really, really liked Jared Leto in that show. Huh? I didn't realize Jared Leto yeah. was in it. Yeah, huh. and his um, his character's name was Jordan Catalano. Cool, what a cool name! Yeah, it Jordan. was. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it was one of those. I don't think I've watched a single episode of that, but lots of little clips of it. Yeah, yeah, I actually did go back through and rewatch that season mm-hmm. or that show. It didn't take very long because it's not a long show, but yeah, so good. Yeah, I used to call you timely. I used to just for fun call you my so-called wife. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. I think I think you would watch it. And yeah. I'd be like, what are you watching? You're like, my so-called life. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're my so-called wife or something <laughs> like that. Very clever. Very clever. Very clever. That's funny. Okay. Deb. Yeah. Now, this is my favorite show. Oh, Do okay. Do you think wow. you can, without even hearing the clip, can you um, pick out what you think my favorite show is? I'll give you one guess and then I'll play the clip. Oh, boy. One guess. Okay, I think it's a cartoon. Okay. 
Um, oh, I don't know. It's okay. I'm going to, I don't think it's this, but I'm going to guess The Simpsons because okay. that was one that you watched quite a bit when no, I first met that you. That was very, yep, yep. All right. It is not that Deb, but mm-hmm. good guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, here it is. Let's see if you can guess it. Okay. cool without all the, know, the yeah, words I, I and pull, stuff I pulled the words out of it because they do say its name yeah that's adventure time that is adventure time deb that is my favorite uh, i should favorite. have guessed that one yeah it feels like so it is a cartoon you're right mm-hmm. and it feels like that show was made just for me sometimes <laughs> like i uh back when i discovered I, I got to it a little bit late like it had been playing a little bit mm-hmm. um and i think i came to it um, once we could stream it through Hulu or something like that. Yeah. And it was definitely one of those shows. Like every time I watch it, I'm like, they made this show for me. It's funny. <laughs> um, it has Joe, uh, Joe DiMaggio, I think is his name. He's a voice actor I really like. Joe DiMaggio is a baseball player. John. John DiMaggio? I don't know. I just know Joe DiMaggio. I think it's, is... maybe it's John DiMaggio. Okay. Now that I've messed up his name. But mm-hmm. anyway, he's the voice of Bender on Futurama, but okay. he's also Jake the dog mm-hmm. on this show. And he's just, yeah, I love listening to him talk. If you feel something, you feel something. It's not about personality matrixels and charts. It's all about the b- bumps in your heart. You can't stop the pumps and bumps, pumps and bumps, pumps and bumps. <laughs> and it's one of those shows that just like, Every show, like most of the shows are like adventure, like they've got, obviously this adventure time, yeah. but they're silly and yeah. they have adventures <laughs> and they like, it's very like video game adjacent. Like they're constantly like mm-hmm. making board game and video game and tabletop game references. And yeah. And it's, and it's kind of got a deep lore. Like you're there huh. in this like really neat post-apocalyptic world it's actually post post apocalyptic hmm. it's like everything got messed up and then it died and then it's now kind of grown back and it's kind of just weird and 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 messed new. up yeah so like they'll just be like walking through a forest and there'll be like a random uh like highway that's just decrepit off in the distance I and things see. like that and yeah i just love that world that it's in and kind yeah. of everything about it feels like it's just for me in <laughs> fact they a lot of times i have uh, some of my desktop backgrounds are just pictures yeah. of like scenes from that show mm-hmm. where it'll just be like like one of the backgrounds and they just have a lot of really fun characters and so yeah it is pretty fun like if I, if I were to pick a show where i were to like if i wanted to live in that world it would be adventure time i'd want to live in the world of adventure time nice yeah so yeah interesting that my <laughs> so my here's a recap of mine and you can give you a recap but my my top seven were futurama lost stranger things Mystery Science Theater 3000, Mm -hmm. Arrested Development, Bob's Burgers, and Adventure Time. And Mm -hmm. I have on here, a number of them are cartoons. I don't think you have any cartoons No, I don't. And I knew, I kind of knew it was going to be that way. I knew you'd have some cartoons and I knew I wouldn't have any. Mm -hmm. So my recap, uh, in no real particular order. No particular order. order. Survivor, Big Brother, Mm. Whose Line Is It Anyway, Mm. This Is Us, Gilmore Girls, Sherlock, and My So-Called Life. Those are great shows, Deb. I'll take your word for it. (laughs) I've watched a couple of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, There were some shows that I felt like just had really good intros. Oh, okay. Like ones that I would just like, that are very memorable to me and that I could probably sing for you. Oh, and you just want to do that now? I'm not going to sing them. Um. Okay, so these were the ones that I thought were just good, had good intros, okay. the shows. All right. Um, Eureka's Castle. Oh, sure. Do you remember that that's, show? That's the only thing I remember about that yeah. show. Yeah. And I bet we could, we could sing it, too, I bet. You! Oh! Who? You! You me, you me, you see who? Eureka! Who? Me? No, you! Don't you see? Eureka's Castle! Eureka's Castle! <laughs> so... Um, hey, dude, you know, who doesn't yep, know that one? Yep, yep, yep. Brotherly Love. This nope, is funny. I've never seen or heard the of jo- that. The show with show. Joey Lawrence and his brothers, Who's... Matthew and whoever the younger one nope, was. Nope. No matter where you are, a part of me will always be with you. No matter where you are, a part of you will always be with me. 
Dallas. No, never watched it. It's all instrumental, but it's shot JR. It's so is that yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it's iconic. It's into my Dallas knowledge. I remember uh, just dancing around the room to that with my sister in the eighties. <laughs> Watching Dallas in the 80s, you would have been so young. Yeah, we were. I mean, you would have been like five years old at most. Right, right. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was. I don't. I don't know if my mom was watching it or mm. if it just, came, it just on, came on, like after something. It's kind of a cowboy theme, like. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to be able. Okay. I can't sing That's, it for you, Luke. I know. Right now, legally, you can't. <laughs> okay. Um, California Dreams and Bug Juice, of course, yeah, were ones that yeah. we've already done in other yeah. episodes, yeah, but those I just thought had really good yeah. theme songs. Mm-hmm. Very memorable. Mm-hmm. There's, right. there's others, probably. Yeah. No, those are very most good. assuredly there are others. Yeah, there are others. So. Yeah. So here, but I did have some honorable mentions. Mm-hmm. So uh, here were some of my honorable mentions. These are the ones that almost made my list. Okay. Gravity Falls, mm-hmm. Steven Universe. Mm-hmm. Um, this is one I just kind of recently introduced you to is Tom Goes to the Mayor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Office, which we've talked about. Over the Garden Wall, which is great if you if you really like animation. And my last one was Community, almost made my list. Yes. Okay, do you want to hear some of my other... Yes. Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Let's hear them. Dead Like Me. Oh, sure. You remember that one? I do. I don't remember. Like, you're the one that told me to watch that one. Yeah, I don't know why I would have done that. I don't that, know but... either. I think you were like, hey, a lot of people say this is good. And, okay. and it's, well, don't don't you remember? I people do. People say I just... this is good. Mm-hmm. And um, people are mad that they're not making it anymore. So it was really good. It's got Mandy Patinkin in it mm. as, uh, yeah, just this head guy. And they're they're all, like, the main characters are dead. Dead. You know? Mm-hmm. Spoilers. I don't. I won't give it away, but spoilers. No, man. that's well. It's called Dead Like Me. Yeah, it is like a um, twenty-year-old show. But it's more than it really maybe. great. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, and I was mad too when it was over. There's no more. And there's they're it, done. closure. Any closure? No, oh, it was awesome. very <laughs> abrupt. <laughs> yeah, and it was, but it was just a fun yeah. one, and it gave me one of like. So I was thinking about this show, and they played a song on that show, show called Boom Boom Ba. Oh, yeah. and I remember hearing it and thinking it was really kind of a fun uh-huh. yeah fun song and i don't think i had like songza at the time or, or not songza but shazam you know right. you Anybody can like capture it yeah i don't know how i figured it like i did think you I'd... literally just happen to google boom, boom yeah bah. Prob- prob- a few others um, that I wrote down here. Uh-huh. I'm ready. Okay, Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. That's one that I'll keep yep. up with. Yep. Wonder Years. It's got a sure. great um, intro. Yeah. And I think the intro is part of like, I don't think I, I think I watched the very first episode of that as an adult. Yeah. But yeah, that is one of those where I think I just watched a Walmart commercial and they played that exact version of that yeah. song. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, like just that song does, it nails. It's it, so it, good. It is. It's a great version of, mm-hmm. um, of that Beatles song. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song. I will try not to sing out of key. Yeah. Oh, baby, how do you Um, so Scrubs. 
Oh, yeah. Scrubs is a fun one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I was late to the party on that one, too. Mm-hmm. The Office. But I just didn't yeah. feel like it. I don't know. I think the ending of The Office kind of ruined the mm. whole experience of it for me. Yeah, I think it's one of the few shows. I think I have seen every or most yeah most every episode i think there might have been one season that i kind of missed but i think uh-huh. eventually i saw almost all of those yeah but. still good parks and rec love yes. that one parenthood was kind of the precursor to um this is us for okay. me and then of course before parenthood i i mean every generation has their parenthood this is us i think um, like tw- i don't know 30 something was one that my hmm. mom talks about okay i've never anyway i've never seen that one <laughs> Um, Mickey Mouse Club. Oh. I used to watch that all the time. I had Arrested Development, Stranger yeah. Things, Killing yeah. Eve was a really recent one that okay. I watched that I really Breaking Bad. Yeah. I almost put that one on my list. Nice. Um, I used to watch Alias. <laughs> yeah. That was like an early, early like uh what would you call it like premiere type television show uh the walking dead but i oh, i kind of fell, fell away that from that hard. and mm-hmm. um freaks and geeks i had on here better wow. call saul yeah, yeah, yeah. i really enjoyed that one downton abbey mm-hmm. um so some ones from when i was like little wow. so this segment has turned into yeah. deb recommends <laughs> deb recommends deb recommends there's just the ones that i thought yeah, of that's um okay. even steve these are and like kind of obscure ones too even okay. stevens with the young that. shia labeouf shia labeouf before he was uh, nuts yeah flash forward with mm. a young what is his name ben foster hmm, okay. young ben foster not familiar um yeah, he's been in other things too, but okay. of course he's not as famous. I all, Community, Modern Family are yeah. also on here. So, wow. Wow, you anyway, had a great I list. know. Yeah, I kind of was like, well, I can't all not. Right. I had trouble limiting it to seven, but mm-hmm. I thought I'm just going to mention them in the honorable. All right. So if you, yes, yeah, so if you if you want the Deb collection, the Deb Cl- Criterion TV collection, it would be all yeah. those shows. You'd be basically set for your whole life. Well, no, because you've watched all of those in the first 30 years of your life. So. <laughs> yeah. anyway. What will they come out with next? Uh, yeah, so. Wow, well, Deb, I think you did great. I think you did great, too. Uh, thank you for saying that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that was our first listener call-in mess- or listener yeah, call-in. Thanks, so Liz. thanks, Liz, that for the idea. Fun. Yeah, that was fun. Hey, and just and- all... Oh, I will just say we got other messages from Liz, too, <laughs> which was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So maybe we'll play those some other time. Yeah, we'll get to those. So it, <laughs> uh, now you can, too. If you want to call in, we'd love to hear from you. So you can call into our voicemail line if you want to call 61 Air Zero Volt mm-hmm. or the number is 612-470-8658 and leave us a voicemail. You could be on the show maybe as well. Yeah. Or if you want to just uh, email us if you have a question, comment, or concern. Not really concern. Question. Well, I will listen to you. If you are <laughs> concerned about something, I will always listen to you. That's true. So, yeah. yeah. If you have anything you want to contact us, you can also email us at mydarlingsdistractions at gmail.com. Yeah. Deb, I think that's it. Yes, that was fun. Yes. Thanks, Liz. Yes, thanks, Liz. And we will hopefully see you all next time. All right. All right. Bye. Good night, everybody. Sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came You want to be where you can see Our troubles are all the same You want to be where everybody knows your name